Hi, in this video, we are going to see class and objects in Java. Let us create a class student. Okay. So, in this class, let us declare few variables in id string name. Okay, so generally class actually provides a template. Okay, and it provides it has data as well as the method. Method is used for having code and data is used to store some data, some hold some data. Okay, so using class we can create ob objects. Okay, so we can create objects and we can store values inside the variables and we can call the methods as well okay let us create a object of this class student okay so let us create another class another class student demo and we require main method so we will select this public static void main so now we can inside the student demo class inside the public static body main method we can create a object of student so for that let us write student s1 equal to new student so here what happens in this case so when we use student s1 equal to new student the new operator actually allocates memory for that student object and it will return the address of that memory so it is also called reference that address is stored in s1 so this is how this statement works okay so now let us assign some values to the variables inside the student object so how to do that for that we can use s1 and be a dot operator dot id equal to 100 then s1 dot name right name equal to john okay. so this is how we can store assign values to the variables let us try to create another student object using this s2 s2 student s2 equal to new student now s2 dot each object holds its own copy of this variable so the values stored inside the s1 will be different from values assigned to the object s2 so in this case s2 id equal to 101 and s2 dot name equal to okay. So now we have two objects. So let us print these values using system. System dot print align, and we can print values id this one dot id then. Then we can print the name also. So name yes one dot name. Okay. So we also print the object values of the another object s yes, one s two object. So we can print id value of s two also. So now let us run this code and see the output. Here we have to use okay. So we have not stored the student class, that's why we are getting compilation error here. Okay, so let us store this. So that the compilation error will go. 
Okay, so now let us run this code and see the output. See the values ID 100, name John, ID 101, name Kumara printed. So, what we have uh, discussed in this session, we will do a quick summary. So, we can use Java classes for creating objects and classes are template okay it provides the structure so this class contains variables as well as methods methods are used to write code using the class we can create object when we create object the new operator actually allocates memory and the address will be returned by that new operator that address is stored inside the variable and also like other data types class also forms a data type so by using class by writing a class we are creating a new data type so s1 at line number six student s1 so s1 is actually a variable of type student so it's a new data type so once we create an object s1 is holding the address or reference of that memory okay so we also can assign values to the variables using s1.id s1 dot name we can assign we can assign values and each object holds its own copy of the variable so they are called instance variables okay so in this session we have discussed about class and object and how to create object